watching Como News. A disturbing new video shows a woman appearing to hit a man with a large hammer at a homeless encampment in Seattle's South Lake Union neighborhood. The neighbors of the encampment say they have reported constant problems to the city and the state, but the camp is still being allowed to grow. Como's Jeremy Harris asked city leaders what's keeping them from closing the encampment down and if there could be a change coming to state laws that deal with freeway encampments. This is the chaos that Maria says she sees out her window every day. I record that. It was crazy. I'm afraid to go to bed every night because I know they have fires and, and they're burning every night something. Maria lives next to the Mercer Street camp, which has been the scene of a murder, drug use and shots fired. Yet it's not just allowed to stay, it's growing. If you see that the city is allowing someone to build a house out of nowhere in the, in the, in the city property, of course you're going to feel like I can do whatever I want. The longer it takes, Jeremy, the worse it's going to get. Representative Andrew Barkas is on the State Transportation Committee. The police reports that I reviewed would suggest that organized drug trafficking is exploiting the obstacles for the state to clear these right of ways. Sure. What does the state need to do to end that? have law enforcement arrest the people who they know are doing this. And I think the people in Seattle and King County and throughout the state have kind of reached their point of sheer frustration because they want their city back. After the encampment explosion outside Harborview Medical Center in Seattle, we're super lucky that many people didn't die. Barkas says the state needs a firmer hand in offering shelter and then not allowing people to stay. Why are we giving that choice? The state, just like other private property owners that we have to have permission to go on the premise to make removals. After last week's bombing, the state gave permission for the city to go into the Harborview camp and remove it. Mayor Harrell said today that both the state and the city are working together to address freeway encampments. We talk about what resources we have, what resources they have, and we try to get the job done. But at Mercer Street, Maria says she can't wait any longer for the city and state to do their job. For you, you're trying to get away from this. You're trying to get out. Yeah, I'm trying to get out as soon as I can. I have seen a lot of craziness, like it's like, yeah, a lot of crime going on in this camp, but it's getting worse and worse every day. And the city knows about this. In Seattle, Jeremy Harris, Como News.